Hello and welcome. This online tutorial is brought to you by WebZine Online. You can visit them online at www.webzineonline.com. Alright, today we're going to cover NextGen Gallery. Um, that's a WordPress plugin that basically creates galleries and albums for, for WordPress. Um, and you can do quite a few things with it. Let me show you how, how we're using it on this page. Okay. Under the photo gallery on this page, there's different there's there's basically different galleries. This is an album actually is what it is. So as somebody as somebody comes along and puts their pictures in, they can add it to the album and then adjust it on the album where it is and it'll show up here. Each of the pages goes to its own page. Notice up top it's dot com photos slash glass mountain dash Oklahoma or Gloss Mountain. This is Gloss Mountain, Oklahoma, basically. These are the photos from it. And that's me right there. All right. How did I do this? How do we do this? Let's check this out. Okay. First off, in the back of WordPress, you'll want to go to Gallery. And we'll want to go to Add Gallery Images. All right. Here you're going to find Upload Images, Add New Gallery, um, Upload a Zip File, Import Image Folder, you can do quite a few things here, but today what I'm going to do is I've selected some images off my desktop and, and we're going we're gonna to basically upload them. But first off, I need to create a gallery. So I'm going to add a new gallery and I'm basically just going to call it Grove Creek 93011. That's my images. So I'll add that gallery. Now I'm going to add my images. Now notice it does give you the option to scale images to maximum 600 by or 800 by 600. I have this set automatically in this system so that so that when you choose images you don't have to um, to process the images or shrink them down or batch them beforehand. The the system set up to do it for you in next gen. But for this for this purpose I've went ahead and batched some images. So on my desktop I'm going to grab these images here. I just pushed Control A on my keyboard to select all the images, or you could highlight them any way you want to do. I'm going to open those images there. And, and notice all my images are here, and I can remove one if I want. Now, down here, I need to choose a gallery. So I'm going to choose that Grove Creek 93011 gallery that I created. Now, I'm going to tell it to upload images, and it's going to, it's going to take a moment. So we're just going to kind of kick back and let it do its thing. It's going to upload each image and then create a thumbnail for that image. Okay, um, it's currently creating new thumbnails now. So as you watch, it'll it'll create each thumbnail, um, and and when it's done, you'll be able to go to that gallery. So let's take a look. It's almost done, 100%. Okay, at the top here it says Edit Gallery. 19 pictures successfully added. Edit Gallery. So I'm going to click that and we're going to head on over to the gallery. Here's our gallery here basically. Now um, up in the top there's a title and you can change that title if you want. Um, there's a description. Um, you can put a description in here. I'm just going to put test gallery. Okay. That, oh, G-A-L-L. -L. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> test gallery. All right. Now here, here's what's kind of important. I need to create a page. I've set this system up so that so that you can create pages in the background. That's in the settings in NextGen. So I've done that. Now we want to create a page, but the page parent, see over here, the parent of that page needs to be photo gallery. See that? So that needs to be the parent first off. Um, everything else is okay and we don't have anything to link it to so photo gallery so I'm gonna tell it to add page now it's added Grove Creek 930 to as the page link now at this point if I wanted to switch a picture to be the main picture I could do that I could go over here and look at one of these pictures and say oh GoPro 2 25.9 let's make that one my my picture so I could go to 20 I could set that and save my changes I could also go along and put titles and descriptions in here on, on all of these and, and descriptions on the bottom if I wanted to um, th that's good to do and save my changes again once I'm done doing that okay at this point 
we, once you've got your page created and everything going, now we need to add that gallery to an album, okay? So over here on the left hand or left hand side under album, right under manage gallery, right here, I'm gonna click album. And in album, up here at the top, I'm gonna select the 2012 album. That's what you, where year we're currently in. It'll bring that album up here. Now my Grove Creek ones here, all I wanna do is drag it over, place it on top, and hit update. Okay, now we can go back out to the front of the site, hit photo gallery, and my Grove Creek comes up here. Now remember, I didn't really put a description in, did I? So I could go back to the back end here, manage gallery, I could go to my Grove Creek gallery down here, and I could put a description in. It doesn't matter what it is. I kind of want a large description when I do it. See, save page. Now if I go back out here and refresh this, this will take on my description, see, right here. And if I click on the photo, it'll take me to that page under photos, which was photo gallery as the parent page, Grove Creek 93011, which and shows me my pictures. Each of the pictures coming up in their own little box. God, that guy's ugly. All right. So that's basically the overview of how to do that, all right? If you need to make changes, you can come back into the gallery and make changes here. You can add stuff. You can subtract pictures. You can add individual pictures to the gallery. All kinds of stuff. All right. I hope that helps. Good luck.